Hey guys, welcome to my DIY channel. So today I'm going to be showing you how to um, how to do a couple of awesome, possibly a few of awesome DIYs that could really sp spice up your room for summer. So let's just get started. Okay, so for the first DIY you need two nail polishes that are like really summery. Some paper, two papers. Two pieces, I would say. Some nail polish remover right here. Um, some Q-tips or cotton buds. They're both the same. They just call them different things in different places. Don't know if you knew that, but no, you do if you didn't. Awesome. Some tape, and finally a um, cotton pad, or you can use cotton wool or a sponge applicator if you have one. I just thought it would be best to use these or overall things. I don't know whatever you would like to use that is like this. That can apply nail polish to paper. So let's just get right into the tutorial then. Okay then you guys, so the first thing that you want to do is take your neatest piece of paper off. Just a, just a piece of paper. And you want to grab your nail varnish remover and you want to grab your sponge applicator or your whatever you're going to use that looks like that or it can do the same job as that. And you just want to apply your nail varnish remover all over your um, paper. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that and I'll be right back you guys. And the reason that I got this was to do this like you would with any normal like nail no, polish remover. And also if you wanted to just add a little bit like that. And then you can just spread it out like that. Just spread it out. All over the sheet. Yeah. And you can make two, I probably will make two. Because I've used kind of a lot of nail polish but you can make as many as you like. So yeah I'm just going to go ahead and get right into that. Okay, and so now your paper should be really flimsy. This was it, like, in the first place, and now this is it. Okay, so your paper should be really flimsy and easy to break. So, if you want to try not to break it, and um, next you just want to grab... Sorry, I'm just doing a little polish remover. You just want to grab your tape and apply it on however you like. I am choosing zigzags, because I think it will look really cool. Okay, so here's my first layer of tape applied, and now you just want to go ahead and grab your two nail polishes and grab your Q-tips or cotton buds or whatever you would call them, and then just you could also use a nail polish brush, but I just thought that might get a bit weird with the nail polish remover. So I'm just going to go ahead and use a Q-tip, and I'm going to start off with the blue. So yeah, let's just go ahead and get started. And so far you guys, oops, it's just all got so I have done two and as you can see it doesn't look particularly pretty at the moment, but trust me in the end it will. It looks very messy. But you must make sure you wait for the polish to dry before you try and pull it off. I've done two currently, as you probably just saw there. And I'm about to do my third one, so let's just get into that one. Okay, and I'm just going to finish this off later because I need to peel it off when it's dry plus I need to untrim that. I've just done two because it didn't quite work out whether I wanted it to, but you know, that stuff happens, doesn't it? So yeah, let's just get on to the next um, DIY. So for the next DIY, you will also need a piece of paper, a jar. And yeah, let's just go ahead. Oh yeah, and also some ribbon or whatever you would like to decorate your jar with. Let's just get into this. So the first thing that you need is a jar. And you would like oh yeah, and some glitter if you want to put glitter. I've already done this, like I just came up with this DIY and decided to do it, but I'll tell you the step that I did. You also maybe need some tape or glue. Whatever you would like, tape or glue. And um, yeah, basically I just got a jar, an empty jar, I like that. And I got some ribbon. And I just 
wraps it round and stuck it on there. Oh yeah, it's coming off, so I can do it. Yeah. And then, okay, I'll just tell you what to do when I've got all the ribbon off. Okay, so let's restart this DIY. You will need an empty jar. Mm, yeah, I've already told you the rest of the stuff that you need. So get your ribbon, quite a big piece, and then you just go ahead and grab a piece of tape. You can put some on your glitter on your ribbon if you like to, but yeah. I did put some glitter on my ribbon ages ago. Mm. So you want to get a tiny piece of tape like that, like not much, but literally. And you want to get your end of your ribbon and just apply that piece of tape. And then you just want to go ahead and wrap around your, you want to wrap your ribbon around your jar and then at the end you just want to tape that bit up as well. Okay, so I'll see you in a minute guys, bye. Okay, so now I'm at the end, I'm just going to go ahead and apply a piece of tape to that piece right there, right at the end. So now I've applied the tape, it's time for the lid which is I would say the most fun part you just want to apply a bit of glue to the lid and this was a um arbusto this is a um arbusto jar with um oxo stuff in like gravy granules and that sort of thing in there and yeah um okay so you just want to sprinkle loads of glitter over the top and then you can just apply your sweets I've just got some refreshers, some drumsticks, and some little, little sweets. So yeah, thanks for watching. Bye guys. And you could totally wrap this round the jar.